Hey everybody, I'm going to show you this new MDF um, that I've had cut and I've already shown, I showed it in a video a couple back, but it's got this uh, beveled edge, 45 degree, um, and the reason my dad had asked for this so it could be like pretend that my hands the wall so that it could stand out from the wall but since this is thin it won't stand out that far so let's just say i don't have a very good example but pretend this is like a thick piece of wood and then then it'll stand out um but oh jeez but I am actually going to paint on it this direction, um, just out of curiosity. Um, I think I just dinged it when I dropped it. But the edges the spine are a little bit more fragile. So I just thought I'd try it. But yeah, it's definitely not as um, sturdy as the rounded edges which I do have some circles in my car that I really, really, really need to get out of there. But I just haven't managed to yet. Um, I'm going to do a reverse uh, mallet smash with Artist Loft Deep Magenta, Artist Loft Vermilion, and Artist Loft Lemon Yellow. And I will add in a blue at some point, probably. I'm just going to, oh, crud, my torch is on the other side of the room. I have, I'm not even showing you the rest of my studio right now. I've got one, two, three, I've got four giant resin projects going um, that are all over the floor. And then I decided to start on a mixed media piece that has some resin on it, which is why this is over there. But it has newspaper and resin and wire and thumbtacks and all sorts of good stuff. So that is over there. Darn it. But it was kind of fun to do a resin job uh, not caring how the resin came out. Okay, this is not going to work. I don't want that. I'm going to move this. And um, hang on, peeps. Let me see if it's still in your frame as I Tetris across my floor. Yep. Hopefully these pieces, these are pieces that are being resined for the second time. So I'm really hoping that they, that this is it because I've used almost a gallon of resin in the past three days. Um, and I did resin the first of five of those, um, um, commission pieces, which I'm sure will all have to be resin twice because they were on canvas. The paint drips off these edges nicely. So I primed these. Um, just with my Dutch Boy paint primer in one.
that gets all of the air bubbles out and I see a, there we go. So I'm going to pour these colors onto this tile and that's what I will dip um, my mallet in. So I was at an all day board retreat for an organization that I'm on and it occurs to me so clearly today that my brain appears to be about 80% right brained, which I mean, considering I'm talking to you from an art station on YouTube, um, shouldn't be too much of a shock. But I mean, I, I said out loud there, I said, you know, I, I feel, I don't feel dumb, but I feel, you know, I'm like, I'm just, I'm not thinking the same way that this retreat is made up to think. Um, but I will, but I, I, unlike years ago where I would have just been like, oh my God, this is so not my thing. I'm so scared. I'm just quitting. I outright was like, you know, we'll come up with other, I'm going to come up with my own way of, you know, doing stuff and a lot more confident, but I definitely... I definitely can't think in numbers and that's just not a, that's just not me. And it's like I was a, a social work, family science and psychology in college. So even then, I mean, I, I the, we, I didn't do, none of my classes had to do with anything like factual, you know, it was all theories and stuff. So that's, you know, those are my interests. But years ago, I would have thought, oh, something's wrong with me, that I'm not getting this. And now with age comes confidence of there is absolutely nothing wrong with me. It takes all types of brains to make this world go round. I just added Craft Smart Metallic, or Craft Smart Midnight Blue. You know, I say things like this on here and then I realize that there's people that I know that watch this channel. And I get all embarrassed. Shoot, I hope they never tell me my channel. Not like in that little area, so I am going. Look at the way it falls down the edge. That's really cool. I want it to go down these sides too. That's so pretty.
side. Where I should take this. I'm not sure that I like this. Now I can tell I'm going to have I may have to paint over some of these edges. I primed them twice, but...
it's all good. Except as I said, I think I might have to keep up with these sides as it dries. Oh, one of my paintings from the other day, the beautiful mallet smash. Dry, it was a pour over, but I had primed um, the piece before, you know, I poured it again and it still bled through, which I was really shocked. I don't know why, seems to only happen on wood. Well, no, it did happen on canvas once too. I don't know why sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't, but um, it's actually kind of a interesting color. So I think I'll keep it. Well, fortunately, the painting was beautiful. So here it is. It's really quite pretty. And then I will show you, oh, and I'm stepping on resin everywhere. Look, all that blue. Can you believe it? I was so upset. I had primed it to cover it, sanded it, and yet it still showed through. And this mallet smash is amazing. It is so beautiful. This is like truly an Ian Osborne mallet smash. Um, with a blue background. I am not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I don't want to scrap it because the mallet is just too pretty. I may just leave it and there'll be a blue hue, which could be interesting. I am not really sure, but any ideas are welcome. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.